Hey guys, how's it going? Happy Monday! You know how I know it's Monday? Because I'm so surprised that I'm actually on it. And it's, let me just tell you something. You're just gonna be wowed what's gonna happen as far as accountability, bloggability, kicking ass ability, all of that from now until the end of the year because it's on. That's all there is to it. Cheers to you. I've got my, what's the cool way to say it? Do you say branch chain amino acids or BC double A's or BCAAs? I don't know how people, I'm gonna have to ask how the cool kids say it. <laughs> Always trying to be cool. Um, I don't know why I insist on drinking it all at once. It's just how I roll. Um, anyway, and for those of you that are gonna ask, because you always ask where I get my hats, whenever you see me with any kind of cute Playboy hats, I always get them at a, um, there's this store in LaGuardia Airport. I don't know what to tell you. Um, I have never been able to find them online. Um, I have never been able to see them anywhere else. It's a cap store down on the very bottom floor of, wow, that rhymes, um, of LaGuardia Airport. So if you're in New York, you can go get it. If you're traveling, you can go get it. Also, I might add, oh, I just got the powder all over me. And I'll tell you, right after I finish shooting this vlog, I'm going tanning. Look what I did right when I got home. Do you see that? Freaking broke my nail. Unpacking my luggage last night. I just noticed that I had this out on the counter. I didn't even remember that I did it. This, welcome to my no short-term memory, people. Um, oh, turkey, okay. I thought it was turkey. It just looked like tilapia for a second. Okay, anyway, Mr. Flo. Um, so here's the deal. I am fresh back from Baltimore. Had a great time over the weekend at Fit Bloggin. Um, great time. It, of course, it, it went by too, so fast, and um, I didn't get to talk to everybody that I thought I would get to talk to, but you know, that's typical. Also, by the way, the music that's playing in the background, I put on to preview um, that uh, Madonna, the first Madonna DVD, that's her um, Addicted to Sweat, um, I think this is called, by Hard Candy Fitness. Like I said, none of you are gonna see it until I've been doing these for a while, but I think it looks like a lot of fun. As far as like just getting, I'm especially excited for the one, um, I think it might be the, the fourth one, where it's all about um, the whole workout is um, with a chair. Not because I'm trying to look, well, of course I'm trying to look badass and cool. Um, but it's also because um, when, I, when I looked at the preview, some of the moves look like they would just be killer for your butt and your, um, your legs. So all that said, I am previewing that. I'm gonna do Kathy's entire Crossfire workout today. Um, and I'll, I'll share with you guys on one of my next videos or on my blog um, what my kind of plan is. But I mean, for the next, for the rest, I keep saying for the next 90 days, but there's probably more than 90 days in the last three months of the year. So however many days, the last three months of the year. Um, you know, I, I found myself getting a little stressed out um, worrying and obsessing about um, getting to a CrossFit box because I came back from the CrossFit Games and I want to go to a CrossFit box and that hasn't changed. But I'm obsessing because I've, I'm also a member of my Lifetime Gym, which I like, and I also, we're gonna be doing some really fun things with Lifetime Fitness with Fitfluential, and I also really like training with my former trainer that I told you guys, Jay, who is at Lifetime down in Florida. So I was like, oh, and I, you know, and I really wanna, I've been not doing yoga for a long time and I miss it. So I just found myself kind of getting in this like stressed out thing going, oh, I feel like if I go to a CrossFit box, it should only be CrossFit, you know, and then I'm not gonna be able to run as much. Well, who says I can't run? Who says I can't do what I want? Who says I can't go to a CrossFit box? Maybe it's twice a week. I might go and love it so much that I don't wanna do other stuff. Or I might go, like we all know I have, shiny object syndrome, right? I might go and like that. Um, right now, I don't feel like the mojo that I feel like going running right now, which usually when I'm in a running vibe, I wanna go running every single day. Right now, I wanna work out here. I miss weights 
I've got that vibe going, that's what I wanna do. So all that to say, what works for me is a whole lot of everything. I really wanna get that beach body, um, whatever it's called, Lay Mills or Les Mills, I don't know how you say it. Um, that body combat kickboxing thing looks badass. Um, so anyway, here's what I'm telling you. There's gonna be a whole lot of a whole lot of stuff. And if you don't like it, go nutty. If you, you know, think that I should do only one thing, that's never gonna happen. It's just not the way I roll. I'm easily distracted, and I like to be easily distracted. So, there's that. Um, but I will let you guys know after I do some of the Tara Styles DVDs and the Madonna Addicted to Sweat, I have to say I'm pleasantly pleased with what I'm seeing so far, even though I haven't done one thing yet. So, all that said, um, anyway, the weekend was really good, and I just came back from the weekend, number one, it made my entire week to see people that I hadn't seen in a while and to have several people, the first thing they said when they saw me was, wow, you know, you've lost, I could tell you you've lost weight. That's always a great feeling. Um, however, I will say that the number one thing um, in my self-analysis of where I am right now, you know, you have to be able to look at yourself and go, where am I right now? How far have I come? What do I need to do to get where I'm going? Yada, yada. I've come far, I've lost weight. Um, made a lot of progress this year in a lot of areas. At the end of the day, I easily have at least another 10 pounds, probably somewhere in between the 10 and 15, to really get to an ideal body weight. Um, the thing is, is it, it's all around my middle. It still is in that core area where you gain it when you have hormonal issues and you're old, like me. Good times. So I want to end this year hitting it, getting it done, reaching my damn goal, and I'm pretty damn sure that I can do it. That was a lot of swearing, and I'm sorry for those of you that are sensitive. Um, but I really, you know, here's what is, it was frustrating this weekend, and there's such silly, stupid things, but like I had my pair of jeans on, and these jeans are literally like falling off of me, right? So they're falling down so low that I was like, oh God, it's a good thing I have a big sweater on covering this because otherwise someone's gonna be seeing a little bit of a plumber situation in the back, you know what I'm saying? And so that's good, right? Because they're so loose, I'm like, I need to shrink these or have them tailored because they're way too big. Now, these are the jeans that I went up a size when I first gained weight, so it's good that they're loose, that's good, right? But realistically, where I've lost weight is, you know, up top, I've lost some on my arms, I've lost uh, a lot in my legs and butt, thanks to Valerie Waters, um, where I still have the, the stuff you can grab, it's all in my middle. So while I feel good about, you know, my legs leaning out and getting better and my butt and, you know, kind of up here getting better and, and having lost weight, still have more because I'm just, I wanna be comfortable with my whole body. I don't wanna be like, well, I'm good, but you know, I wanna get back to where I can walk in my closet and just pick out clothes that I wanna wear, not, oh, well, I can't wear that because if I wear that, that cuts in here. You know what I'm saying? Where you're still like camouflaging stuff? No, I've come so far, but I'm still so paranoid about, you know, these, these areas and it's just stupid. And you know what? Here's the thing, I was getting into this conversation with Jill Hanner in the hall. I'm nailing it with my food. You know, the only thing that's bad about my food is that I'm not getting enough variety. But hello, that's why I have these two great cookbooks from Sarah Fragoso, so that I can start getting some really creative different meals. And you guys might want to tune into what we're launching in about a week on the Fit Fluential YouTube channel. Just saying, it's gonna be a lot of stuff there. You're gonna wanna subscribe. Um, so that's cool too. So, but anyway, it's not really, usually it tends to be the opposite with people. They'll be, like I remember Jay, when I was training with him originally, he'd go, Kelly, you know, it's not your workouts. You're kicking ass, you're coming here. Cause I would train with him when he was living up here. I would train with him um, pretty much every other day. And then every other day, you know, he would tell me what to do on my off days. So I'd train with him every other day. And he knew, cause he would see me at the gym, even when he wasn't training, he knew what I was doing. He's like, and when I would get stuck at a plateau, he'd say, it must be what you're eating. We either have to tweak it a little down or tweak it a little higher because I know that your workouts, it's not your workouts. Right now with me, what it's been is my workouts. And that's what's so stupid is because I love to work out. What did I just read? I think it was on the plane. 
uh, I think it was Oprah magazine, and there was some quote from Mary J. Blige, and she's just like, you know, my tips for yeah, for working out or get up really early because I hate working out. I'll never like it. I've read quotes like that about so many people. I am the opposite. I love working out. In fact, there's so few workouts that I'm not in love with. Zumba is probably one of them that I haven't done, and you guys know it's because I am not coordinated. Um, I really love working out, so it's stupid. But the thing I've told you guys before, which is why I'm relaunching my blog every day, um, challenge until the end of the year. I'll do something more official on that. But um, when my when I'm not blogging as much, when I'm not doing my videos as much, that's usually a reflection of the fact that I'm letting my work life over overcome my personal life, and I don't have balance, and that's absurd. So if I want to get my results and stop, you know, being a part of this great, amazing fitness world, and yet not gifting that part to myself and not, you know, taking care of my body and, and really getting and, and doing things. You know, I shouldn't have, I shouldn't be saying to you that I've been home from, well, I've still been on three trips since the CrossFit Games, but you know, why haven't I gone to the CrossFit box that's, you know, like 10 minutes down the street because I'm of work, because of my schedule, because I'm like, oh, I'm only home for two more days before I leave on the trip. No, I don't have time to go. That's what's going on. And probably, you know, the little fear too. Um, I can't do that. I need to make time for my workouts. And the number one thing that has been, lack been lacking the past two to three months is the consistency in my training. And it's been too much of, yeah, I'm going for a run, I'm going for a run. And then it's like, what's happening to the weights? What's happening to the yoga? Uh-uh, no. So it's back and it's on and I am going to reach my goal by the end of the year. That's all there is to it. I'm tired talking about it. Um, it's been a really great year of progress. Let's take that progress, Kelly, and freaking do it. So that's all I'm going to say. It's 12 minutes, and I will see you guys tomorrow. I've got to go. I need to go tanning and work out and get some dinner, and I'll probably be up until 11 o'clock tonight. But see, I'm making time for myself, so I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Have a great Monday.